Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got swatches from the polishes I won from Kenny Nicole's giveaway. And we're going to just hop right on into it because it's going to be a long one. And this first one is from OPI and this one is called Life Gave Me Lemons. Goes on rather sheer on the first coat. But not surprising, a lot of yellows do. The second one here is Orly and this one is First Blush. I really do love this one. It's like a dusty rose color. I'm in love with it. And here we go with the next one. And it is called Well Trained. And it is by China Glaze. And this one I thought would be a stainer. I had it on my nails just for, you know, a little while. And in it, I didn't have any staining. So that's pretty good. Um, surprise, surprise. And then the last one here on this round is going to be OPI's. You are so out of lime. So there we go. We're going to start going back to the beginning. And that one is Life Gave Me Lemons by OPI. And it's still a little streaky on that second coat. This one might would be one of those polishes that really benefit from um, an undie. You know, a white base. So, you know, take that into consideration. And here we go with Orly's First Blush. Once again, so in love. <laughs> and then next we have the China Glaze Well Trained. And it has an excellent formula. It went on really smooth. And then now we're back to the OPI second coat of You're So Out of Lime. Very nice. And I am going to do a third coat of Life Gave Me Lemons. Like I said, if you use a white undie, you wouldn't need to do that. It would be just fine the way, you know, one or two coats of that. And I am going to do a third coat of your, you are so out of line. So there we go. There's those four. And now we're going to head on into the next batch. And this one is a stunner. It's practically a one coater. And this is Juleps April. It's a very orangey kind of coral color, but very bright, very pretty on the nail. Practically a one coater. I'm going to do two, but you know, I, I really could, could have gotten away with one. This one here is Juleps Courtney, another beautiful green, very nice formula on that one too. And then we're going to head on into Julep, and this one is Paulina. And Paulina is a very gorgeous, shimmery, kind of blue color. I don't know how to describe it. It's got some duochrome going on in it because I do see some pur purple pink flash going on. And the last one for this round is another julep, and this one is Becca. Now, Becca might be the standout because it's just such a pretty color. <laughs> it's just, it's got some duochrome flash going on on it, too. It's got some purpley pink jumping out at you. So we're going to go back to the start and we're going to do another coat of April. Like I said though, she could have been a one coater. And I can't call her a girl because her name is April. And then next we are heading to the green one, which was Courtney. And remember, these four are from Julep. Very nice polishes. And then this one is Paulina. There we go. And the last one we have is Becca. Becca is gorgeous. I love polishes that have that shimmer in them. So there we go. Those are those four. And now on to the next four. So this first one is an orally, and it does have a wonky brush. I might have to do something about that. Um, sometimes it happens with polishes. But this one is Mysterious Curse by Orly. And there's Woody. He's making an appearance. So Mysterious Curse by Orly. It is crazy. It's got some serious flash going on in it. So the next one we have is by 100% Pure. And this one was called Truffle. Had a very nice formula. I was really, really impressed with it. <coughs> And Woody again, excuse me, tis the season. 
Now, this one is Essie's Sunday Fun Day, and this is the one that Kenny Nicole warned me had a funky formula, and it does. I'm not going to lie, and um, but it's workable. It's doable, and the shimmer that's in the bottle does show up on the nail, and that really made me happy. You know, if a, if a formula is going to be fussy, it better be pure, pretty in the end. Now, this next one is from Julep, and it is called Sigourney, and it is a Stardust Finish Polish, so it's thick. It's like a pixie dust, and um, it is it could be a one-coater. I do believe this one could use a little bit of thinner, and a trick through the shaking machine. So we're going to go back and go back to do our second coats of everything. This is Orly's Mysterious Curse. Beautiful kind of duochrome -y polish. And this one, like most duochromes, would probably do really well layered over black. Um, duochromes are normally a little thinner, a little more sheer, and they just... You know, if you don't want to waste the polish, just do it over black and you don't have to do so many coats. You get away with one coat or two coats of it. And then we're going to head on into the 100% Pure Truffle. Really nice, bronzy looking color. And then back to our problem child, which I have managed to bump or smudge. And this is Sunday Fun Day by Essie. And, you know, it's, it's definitely not... The best formula I've ever had but it's not the worst it's uh, something you, you can work with if, if you like the color enough and we got something going on I think we got a fuzzy and here we go with our final coat which we did not really need of the julep polish the beautiful Sigourney look at that I mean it's just crazy with the colors in it so there are the two coats of those. Sunday Fundy could have used one more coat, but I wasn't going back to do it. So now we're heading on to the next round of four. And this is a color club, and it is called Model Behavior. This is a really pretty color. It's a really nice formula on it also. This would be great for auto manicures. And then the next one we have is from color, no China Glaze and it is called Black Diamond and I was thinking oh it's so sheer but it builds up really well and it ends up looking just fantastic on the nail I really did like this that's China Glaze's Black Diamond and then now we've got another color club and this one is called Pearl District now this is your basic bronzy gold and it's a very nice one in my opinion and finally on this pinky I'm gonna put OPI and this one is called love is hot and coal this is a really unusual color you'll see after it builds up so we're going in for our second coat of color clubs model behavior very nice formula on that one not too brush strokey. And then now we're on China Glaze's Black Diamond. This one was really a surpriser. I mean, because in the bottle it didn't look like all that, but it did turn out really good on the nail. And our second coat of Color Club Pearl District. Very nice. Really excellent formula on that one, too. And a couple of these might could use second coats, but our, our third coats. I'm not going to go back in for them, though. And this is OPI's Love is Hot and Cold. It's duochrome -y. It's like a brown with purple shimmer. So we're going to head on into the next batch. And this one is a magnetic polish. And it's um, a Sally Hansen magnetic. And it is called Polar Purple. I'm going to do one coat and let it dry a little bit, and then I'm going to go do a second coat and magnetize it here in just a minute. This next one is super, super sheer. It would be great for French manicures or a topper. And this is from China Glaze, and it's called Temptation Carnation. I personally would not wear this one on its own. I have too much um, trouble with visible nail lines, so I would, not, I would not wear that one on its own. But layered over something else, I bet it would look fantastic 
And then this one was a stunner. This is from OPI and it's called Swimsuit Nailed It. Very gorgeous, gorgeous blue. Loving it. Now this next one I have going on my pinky is from Color Club. And this one is Jingle Jangle. Look at all that glitter coming out. This one could totally be opaque. I'm going to show you two coats and it looks really good on two coats. But if you just sponged that second coat on there, it would be bling-tastic. So here we go. We're going to break out a magnet for this magnetic one. And I'm going to hold that over the nail. I'm a little shaky. You're going to have to excuse me. I drink way too much coffee. And a lot of times when I'm playing, I don't remember to eat. So I'm a little shaky today. But look at that. Wicked cool. And that was Sally Hansen's magnetic polish called Polar Purple. And we are back to the China Glaze called Temptation Carnation. It's a really pretty polish, but I can't do that visible nail line thing. So, you know. And next up is OPI's Swimsuit Nailed It. And I want you to check this out, the second coat of Color Club's Jingle Jangle. So if you went in and just sponged on that second layer, it would be solid. It is so blingy. Love it. <laughs> Next we have a lot of the glitters. Now I didn't layer these over anything. I wanted to I wanted you to see the glitter pay off just the way they are. Use your imagination and put them over whatever you want. But this first one is from Maybelline Color Show, and this was from the Street Art Edition. And it was called Green Graffiti. This one I'm applying right now is also from Color Show from the Polka Dots. And it's called Bl Blue Marks the Spot. And now we're headed on to Nails Ink Special Effects. And this one is called Prince, Prince's Garden. Very cool. Very, very cool. And this last one on my pinky is from Salon Perfect. This one is called Shocked. This one really blew me away. It was so pretty. And we're going to go back and do our second coat of green graffiti. And that's a lot of glitter payoff right there. I'm telling you, you layer that over something, mm, you're going to see that. And then this next one is the blue, blue marks the spot. Really impressed with how much glitter came out of those. And then finally, or not finally, almost finally, is the Prince's Garden. Gardens. I'm forgetting the S on the end. And that was from Nails Inc. It's just cool. Woody to the rescue. We got glitter trying to escape. And then finally, finally, on the pinky, we had the Salon Perfect Shocked. And it really is different. It's like matte glitters, matte pink, and they're either blue or purple. I'm thinking they're purple. So there we go with that. Ta da! All the glitter. Glitter tastic. Now for the final round, I'm only going to have three polishes. So we're going to get started here. And this is the Marc Jacobs. And um, it is just so pretty. And it's Surrender Dorothy. Surrender Dorothy. And it is just jam-packed full of glitter. I end up doing three coats of this one just to make sure it's totally covered. And this next one is from KB Shimmer. And this one is called Shattered Heart. And it's got all the little um, black like hearts and bar glitters and hexes and shards and stuff, but I didn't hardly get any of it on the first coat, but it's okay. We're going to go back in for a second coat. And this last one is the one I changed to the name of Guyleen. This is an OPI, and its store name is called Let's Do Anything We Want. But we all know it's Guyleen. I does what I want. It's polish now. Here we go with the second coat of Surrender Dorothy from Marc Jacobs. This one really is pretty. Of course, I love me some glitter. 
I'm going to do a third coat on that one here in a minute. Now I have turned this bottle of KB Shimmer upside down to try to get some of those shards and hearts and stuff to, you know, come, come to my brush. And when you're dealing with any kind of glitters like these, you do want to kind of do the dabbing, swishing, moving, you know, kind of do some placement with it. At least that's what I like to do with them because I want them kind of spread out on the nail good. And... Oh, oh, that one's trying to get away. Get back on there. So there we go. We got those on there. And this was the KB Shimmer called Shattered Heart. And here is Miss Galeen's namesake polish. OPIs. Let's do anything we want. That one is a topper. Of course, I didn't realize it, but like I said, just use your imagination. Put them over whatever you want to. Or if you've got a manicure you're fixing to take off anyway, slap it on there and see what you think. So there's that third coat of um, Surrender Dorothy. And I am going to do a third coat of the OPI's polish. I really do like these, though. They're so pretty. Well, I hope you enjoyed this long video. I would love to hear your thoughts on these polishes. Am I watching? So leave me a comment. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.